Hey guys, Dan Bigot with MeisterFileSpot.com. What you're looking at here is the deboned portion, the upper portion of the sow I harvested. This would be where her front shoulder would have laid. This is where the loin is, okay? This is what this I'm going to call C1, a uh, bone that mounts to the skull right here, okay? This is one vertebrae right here, two vertebrae is right here, that's the point of the second vertebrae. This is where my bullet went in, okay? Right here. It completely severed the spinal cord. There is no spinal cord left. In between vertebrae two and three. Okay, I felt like I owed that to you guys. Um, do no. that shot. Now, now, this is where I was aiming, okay? Absolutely, I didn't know I was gonna get right in between them and get nothing but spinal cord. Okay, that's pretty cool, but um, that is where I was aiming. I'm not saying that I could do that every time, but I did do that this time. Um, by no means, uh, you know, did I think I was going to get it that perfect, but that is what I was, you know, trying to go for. Um, I've only made one more, a more humane shot than that, which was the doe I took this year, um, was a, you know, complete uh, disembrainment for lack of a better term. It wasn't a disembowelment, it was a disembrainment. Um, so anyway, that's why that pig fell so quickly. C1, C2, and the bullet, it's actually a little deeper than that where it went through, but it passed right, right there and completely cut off her heart from her brain, uh, basically. So C1, C2, that's why it happened. And uh, the rest is pork history in the freezer. I'm going to give you a little more in-depth anatomy lesson here in just a second. All right, guys, pig anatomy 101 with Professor Bickett. All right, I'll be your instructor today. I've drawn some uh, high-quality drawings up here to explain the differences between a pig, excuse me, a deer and a pig, and why the myth continues that a pig is harder to kill than a deer. Okay, it's not. You're just aiming wrong. Um, now, I've not read this in Field and Stream, I've not read it in Pig Hunters America Digest, okay? This is what I've garnered from uh, the past several years as a, well, past three and a half years as a, as a pig guide uh, and a lifetime of hunting deer um, and processing game, okay? The heart on a deer is three times as large as it is on a pig, okay? It also sits farther back. Every archery target you see, the line of your kill shot will begin right behind the front shoulder, okay? And that's so you can hit the heart and lungs. O2 is representing lungs, okay? You got the heart and lungs directly behind the front shoulder. And the gut starts after that three or four inch sweet spot right here, okay? Or everybody says, you know, it's a pie plate. So you got your pie plate right here for a kill zone. Anything other than that, you're getting gut, okay? You're gut shotting. Maybe a liver, but you're not gonna bleed out very fast from a liver shot. Animal's still gonna die from anything in this area, of course, but it's how cleanly you can kill the animal, all right? So heart and lungs, three or four inches behind uh, the front shoulder, and the heart is three times as big, okay? On a pig, their guts are three times bigger than a deer, but their heart is obviously three times smaller, all right? That means that everything is pushed forward on a pig. Everything is pushed forward. The guts have smushed the heart and lungs in the, into the front cavity, and they're actually behind the shoulder, guys. You might be able to get lucky right here, right here, but if you go right here, you're in gut, okay? So that's why shot placement is so key on a pig. Also, the spine on a pig runs a little deeper. The spine runs, say, right here versus a deer where it runs right here, okay? The spine is deeper on a pig just due to their musculature and the way their spine is set up. But pigs are no harder to kill than deer. You're just, if you aim in the same place as you do a deer, then yes, they're going to be harder to kill because you're gut shotting a pig more than you're getting into its vital cavity uh, because it's pushed up behind that shoulder, okay? Yes, big boars will get that shield on them, okay? They call it a shield. 
it's basically just a bunch of scar tissue and cartilage. Uh, a big boar, 200 pound, 250 pound plus boar, his hide on this front shoulder, about right in here, almost like the gill of a fish, okay, from his front shoulder forward can be anywhere between half to three quarters of an inch thick. And that is protecting his heart and lungs uh, from puncture from what? These guys right here, they're tusks, okay? A deer doesn't have that. A deer is built to run. A pig is meant to fight, so it's got more guts, and the deer has more heart. If that makes any sense to you at all, guys, that's the way nature designed them. But if you want to kill them, aim the same place you've been aiming for on a deer. Aim a little bit farther forward on a pig, uh, just inside his front crease, not behind it. Okay, there's his front crease of his shoulder. Normally, if this was a deer, you'd be aiming here. On a pig, you're going to be getting gut. If you take that same distance and aim here, you're going to be getting his heart, okay? That's why pigs are known to be hard to kill, because everything is shoved up inside, almost towards his neck, okay? He's not meant to run, he's meant to fight. A deer is just the opposite. Well, hopefully I didn't uh, beat that dead horse or pig or deer too much. But uh, I hope you get the point. Aim forward and you'll kill pigs. Good luck. <laughs>